Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is surface tension with a ping pong ball. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a ping pong ball, water, a cup or bowl, and dish soap. So it's quiz time. Can you put a ping pong ball in the center of a cup of water and not have it move to the side? Let's see if we can. This experiment, you fill up a cup of water, put the ping pong ball in the center, and you'll see it's drawn to the side of the cup on this three inch uh, cup. Now I tried a five inch cup, put the ping pong ball in the middle, same results. And then one more time with an eight inch bowl uh, and put it in the middle. It takes a little bit longer, but eventually it uh, goes to the side of the bowl. This time I'm gonna take a little bit of uh, dish soap to the three inch cup, place it on the tip of my finger and put it on the surface tension. Uh, when the soap is added, the surface tension is reduced and the path to the minimum surface area is less steep. As such, the ball will drift much more slowly to the end and appear to almost be stable at some points. Uh, I end up doing this almost uh, 30 or 40 seconds and it just started to go to the edge where uh, the first experiment with the three inch cup, it took about five seconds to get to the end. So pretty impressive that the soap uh, breaking down that surface tension. Placing the ping pong ball at the surface of the water creates a curvature in the water surface all the way around the ball. The surface tension will act as a minimum total surface area unless you place that ball exactly in the middle of the cup, which is nearly impossible. There is an asymmetry in the surface curvature that will draw the ball towards the side nearest to the ball, thus minimizing the total surface area. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up below and to subscribe. Thanks for watching.